Hello all. Um, I will be going over a few structures uh, of the organization Artists for Eritrea. Uh, that would help us to um, articulate needs and then requirements for our website. Basically, what we have is a board uh, which has satellites of functions uh, in many facets of our art, uh, social media, uh, copyrights, writers, uh, painters, um, fashion, music, and uh, video, you name it. The board would uh, delegate tasks to each of the uh, subgroups or satellites, and each subgroup or satellite must have uh, a very adequate website access plus uh, functionality. Saying that, what are our needs? What comes to my mind so far is um, we need an elegant and dummy proof website uh, that we have to consider our user is across the world. So it got to be dummy proof and uh, very simple, however elegant. A secure admin maintenance uh, page must be available uh, for the admins to uh, retrieve or store data or make change on users' profiles on uh, privileges. A secure artist info upload windows. For example, an artist can upload their own bio, their pictures, their names, and should there be a change of address or what have you, should they relocate or if they need to change their pictures, they should have uh, privilege to do so uh, under the admin's um, maintenance page or user maintenance page. Secure admin upload and or data retrieval windows just to help us facilitate uh, a lot of information. This uh, database is worldwide, so it has to be very efficient and very um, user friendly. Also, we have to have conditional artist search form, which is uh, what we're trying to uh, promote uh, collaboration between artists in different segments of the world, uh, spaces, locations, and language. We have nine uh, ethnic languages, and then uh, we're all over the world. So considering that, we have to have collaborations via technology, but they have to know each other. So should I have uh, uh, an artist from Sweden, I must have their bio uh, so that I can work with them. Secured membership payment form. That's when we start membership payment. We got to have a, a window that tallies the payment of each member so that we don't have to have um, Excel spreadsheets all over. But uh, cumulative payment must be uh, readily visible to the admins or to the board. Sponsors upload and payment uh, form or page. That means our sponsors can choose their sponsorship level and then upload their logo, upload their uh, uh, business uh, uh, descriptions and whatnot. And then uh, having done that, once they make the payment, uh, would be approved to go uh, live on site. Tutorial materials upload. This is where uh, tutorials, uh, uh, books, uh, videos, and audios would be available for the artists in different segments. Uh, blogs and newsletters, um, maybe monthly uh, blogs or newsletters must be sent to all members that would help them into their different art uh, to catch up with new technology and art. These are the needs that are articulated so far. I'm sure <clears throat> there will be tons of uh, needs that would come along, uh, but for a draft, this would be sufficient for now. Database-driven website, all our website does is um, function as a business, although this is a non-profit organization. However, it is so vast, it's so uh, stretched, it has to maintain database um, uh, facilities to uh, retrieve, upload, and uh, store data. 
we probably uh, can can go to site functions say for example uh, basic about uh, about us mission statement page or segment uh, contact us form uh, requirements what are required to be an artist to be in this to register or some other technical uh, advices uh, sponsors logo section where we will have a tickering uh, sponsorship logo i'll show you in a minute and then artist registration and bio with secured uh, user upload mechanisms artwork upload if they want to upload their art videos and such they gotta have a user secured upload mechanism uh, artist picture must be uh, clickable and then a pop-up profile uh, should be uh, provided to um, whoever is searching the art the artist or whoever is clicked upon uh, <clears throat> trending art hopefully uh, would be monthly trending art which one is um, trending in terms of music uh, video books fashion and whatnot uh, so we'll have some trending um, artwork for the month hopefully a conditional art search engine this i have described before if i want to search for an art for an art for example if i want a painter and then if they're in london i have to be able to say painting and then london and then a bunch of names must pop up with their uh, contact names and uh, <clears throat> sample uh, uh, work artwork event videos meaning whatever event we do we have to have a mechanism to upload it so that it would be on the top of the page uh, hopefully with the current event displaying on a large screen donation page which is simple paypal but i would go further than paypal it would entice um, uh, other mechanisms like um, uh, western union and whatnot because we're talking about people from all across the world they may not have they may not have paypal but they may have other means of payment this has to be very secured sponsors page sponsors if if they want the um, to sponsor artists for Eritrea, they must have registration and payment form uh, which they can upload the, their logo and then upon approval it would be uh, on the site live it goes live to the site tutorial materials as I described uh, secure user upload this is mostly for the uh, admins or particular segments of the organization so they must have tutorial materials and they must have an easy way of uploading their uh, materials without any technical ability and finally blogs and newsletters hopefully monthly uh, newsletters or updates or new technical informations uh, could be shared across the platforms having said that all info must be stored and accessible via secured admin page for maintenance such as resetting user password uh, other uh, revoking privilege uh, maintaining privilege updating membership info and then it has to be time uh, secured nothing should be deleted however it should be updated by time segment uh, so that there is not delete only updated information upon uh, an information the website that we currently have uh, is very elegant colors uh, uh, will, will stay with the color however what i'm trying to show is uh, the page has to be inviting very open and then there should not be a lot of clutter what i will show in the next page may seem cluttery but i'm, I'm just trying to highlight the functions so the page has to be very inviting and then few clicks to make few reasonable clicks to me uh, to, to make say for example the page as uh, visually indicated earlier just a step uh, uh, a page ago we'll have artists for air and then we may have register 
donate certain artists upload your art uh, buttons now the sponsors who are already uh, uh, allowed or uh, approved to sponsor upon paying the, their their fees will be tickering here sponsor one sponsor two will be like a, a tickering if we have 10 of them it will be just revolving uh, round round and round so events like i said if we have events it must be uh, available uh, just underneath the sponsors and then scrolling down we'll have trending fashion trending books trending music trending uh, uh, movies and whatnot uh, trending painting so we'll have trending uh, segment uh, pretend that you're scrolling down and then here are what the artists are uh, the pictures and then their bio uh, artist one uh, based on what we have so far uh, we have seven pictures lined up in one page and then each art uh, artist will have their own pictures and names underneath i'll show you later after we finish this um, uh, so when i click onto an artist artist one the will be a pop-up a window that comes so and so artist number one lives in the uk and their phone number if necessary and then their talent if he's a musician if he's multi-talented and whatnot so for we may have 300 artists so pretend that you're scrolling down and you will find more than uh, 14 artists mission statement um it could be when you click about us it would just land you up to the mission statement so there is not a whole lot of big thing to talk about requirements like i said it would be upon clicking on requirement it would just send you to the requirement segment the requirement page has to be uh, info has to be uploaded via simple non-technical maintenance page contact form once established will have the address and what have you contact form for the organization for different um, segments of the branch uh, or satellites of the uh, organization such as music video uh, drama and books and whatnot so they will have each contact form if there is a need for general contact info then we can accommodate that as well registration form this is for the user or for the artist to register in a secured window where they would uh, select their uh, username and uh, password uh, so that they can come and uh, review their page and then maintain if they will upon approval of the admin uh, uh, once they make change will send a signal to the admin saying such such uh, uh, artist has um, uh, updated their info please review and then you click it's reviewed and then approved search form this is the most that is needed as i explained uh, earlier but we need this severely the reason being is we have uh, artists across the world that we want to bring into one spot and then establish collaboration between artists The search engine that we would like us say, for example, I'm in, uh, I'm in need of a bass guitarist. The lady is looking for a bass guitarist. <clears throat> She's in, in Sweden. And then when, once she clicks, it would bring up uh, several artists, names, um, mobile phone or contact info, possibly email, and then sample, sample artwork because it you, you don't know who this artist is, whether they're good or not. Uh, so what have you, um, you will have a search uh, result. However, there will be also uh, some others. Say, for example, if she's looking for bass, bass guitars, uh, she, uh, the, the, the small window uh, between the two uh, guys will show you possible other um, artists, which are bass, bass guitarists or 
painters or what have you. So you will not be limited to seeing closer to Sweden. How about there is somebody in Australia? So we'll pull by function, by uh, desired art. This will be our biggest ticket for uh, uh, the immediate need. We have 300 artists registered so far, so they must have uh, a usage, a use of this uh, powerful function. And then back to uploading forms, upload your art. If an artist, ha an artist has some uh, artwork to upload, then they will have an upload mechanism. Uh, prior to approval, this upload should be very, very simple, but it has to land into the admin uh, eyes so that it would be approved or discarded or denied. Donate form, easy, simple, but donation via pay PayPal is simple. However, we need further uh, powerful uh, payment uh, mechanisms beyond PayPal. This we can discuss later. Such as, okay, here is a PayPal uh, list, for example, but upon, um, uh, upon receiving a payment and then uh, reason for the payment, whether it's membership or sponsorship, there got to be uh, an auto uh, letter generated to go to the user and possibly uh, with few clicks. We don't want to waste time or make an energy effort to locate and then see how much they paid. It got to be done automatically. That's the donation engine. Sponsor registration, there will be options for the sponsors so that uh, they choose and then this would be neatly allocated as a one-time gift, blah, 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 and then the description of their uh, sponsorship. And like I said, there should be a window for this. Hopefully, I'm talking about it next page. But let's say on the sponsor uh, registration, the sponsor should be uploading uh, their their logo, their business profile, and what have you. Uh, we shouldn't waste energy on this one. Should we invest time on this one? The sponsor should be uh, paying artists for Erta for doing the job or the work. <clears throat> Tutorial video uploads, uh, tips on new recording guides, uh, technology, and what have you. So it would be clickable, and then a pop-up window would appear, and then you don't you don't want to leave the window, the big window, <clears throat> you want to stay there, but at least at least uh, the pop-up window will come, uh, a good size pop-up window will come without having to uh, uh, go through many pages. <clears throat> and blog, <clears throat> blogs and then newsletters, like uh, I said earlier, it should be available um, hopefully monthly, okay? So this is the scenario that we want to establish. If it doesn't sound articulated, we'll, we're going to uh, revisit or uh, articulate further and then itemize what are the needs and then how do we want to utilize them so that um, we make the page or the website efficient, uh, uh, elegant, and then dummy proof. OK. <clears throat> so. Let me share the current website. And like I said, we're gonna maintain the color. We like the color, uh, the scenario, uh, how it's built, but we need more powerful functions. So if I say artist for Eritrea, and we'll pull our page. Hopefully faster. Okay, so basically entry and what have you, we need the, the, the slightest clutter, meaning we don't need a whole lot of clutter. It got to be an open and then uh, very inviting. Uh, the buttons uh, for now, please donate and register will be, you know, uh, on the side so that they don't eat too much space. However, if I scroll, there are events. And then I can scroll as many events as I could. Perhaps what we're going to focus on is current events, 
events that we held within the month of such and such. Otherwise, we will have also all the events stored somewhere in another page, clickable page. Here are the artists. The artists would be simple. And then this is where it's, you have to bring a pop-up window for Abraham Aforki. There gotta be his bio, his um, description, uh, his name and um, his talent and possibly his artwork, samples, link, or what have you. So you have a lot of artists. Each of them will have different uh, talents. However, each one has to be uh, provided with the same uh, opportunity to be discovered. Requirements, there's, this could be technical requirements or <clears throat> Uh, requirements to be uh, involved in art, uh, artists for Asia. However, however, we're going to maintain the requirements page. Send us your materials, upload. Here is where the artists can upload their last name, their name, email, phone number, crucial city where they live in, and then what kind of art they follow. Uh, uploading their, uh, this page only shows you for. <clears throat> Uh, for their profile picture. Uh, however, we're gonna also develop it maybe in another window to upload their, um, once they become uh, a member to upload their artwork. So here you go, social media. This is where we will go to our Twitter page, to our YouTube page, to our Facebook page. And then that would be my summary. I'm a little exhausted, but hopefully uh, I've done some draft uh, explanation for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to uh, stop recording and then I'm going to send you this draft uh, articulate further. And before we move on to develop the site, we need uh, uh, to understand each other very, very, uh, very well so that we don't come back to uh, redo uh, efforts and then fix our, uh, errors. So with that, I'll stop recording. Thank you.